Hello guys and welcome into another fantasy tutorial. In today's video we're going to be looking at the advanced settings for sleeper fantasy. All right, let's hop straight into it. So, um, first manner of business we need to get to. If you are a commissioner and you're looking to change some of the settings for your league, we will cover that later on in the video. I will have a time stamp in the description that you'll be able to click on um, and skip to that part of the video if you're looking to um, change the commissioner settings in your league. But for the rest of us, let's hop straight into it. So, first of all, if you're looking to change like your team's name or anything like that, um, overall in the app, you're going to click on the top left. There's a sleeper icon. It should be your logo. You can click on that. And once you click on that, there is a gear in the top right corner. Click on that. Um, and then after that, there is a account and settings button. Click on that right there. And uh, from this page, you will be able to change whatever you would like your name to be, whether that be your username, phone number, email, password. Um, if you'd also like to change your notification settings or uh, whatever your font size is, those type of things will be on this page right here. Um, so that's just the, your general settings for overall being in the app. Um, next, let's head straight into a league and the settings that you can adjust within that. So um, we'll click on this league right here. And once you go to a, your league, you click on the team page. And on the team page, there'll be a gear right next to your name. Um, from this page, you'll be able to change your team's name. If you would like to change your team's logo, also right there. Or if you would like to uh, enter a nickname for any of your players, you can also do that on this page right here. Notifications, if you want notifications for your league, turn those on and off right there. Uh, co-owners, if you would like to add a co-owner to your team, someone else that can manage your team whenever you are not able to, um, you can add them right there to your team. Uh, second thing, top right corner, you can see there's a settings gear. There's some more settings that you can edit in there. Uh, right there, you click on my team. Uh, that's something we've already been over, but that's just like same thing team name all of that fun stuff general right here on the right You can see all of your team's settings whether that be how many teams are in the league what type of league how the scoring works um, How the playoffs works pretty much any of that stuff will be right here on these pages right here the draft playoffs scoring different things like that um, and another important thing if you're just a casual fantasy player if you would like to leave a league you scroll all the way to the bottom there's going to be an option to leave the league this will always be available whether the season is on or off you can leave a league at any point in time so that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions about just being a normal fantasy player and having any questions about that be sure to let me know in the comment section i'd be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have about that so next let's hop into the um, commissioner side of this so as the commissioner of the league, you're going to have a lot of options and different settings you can adjust. So most of those are going to be in the top right corner. There's another the settings gear. You'll click on that and you'll go to the commish side of this. You'll have a couple of different settings here. Update commish. If you'd like to change who the commissioner of the league is, you can do that right there. Roster and draft picks. Um, you can adjust those there. Matchup scores. Edit the waiver wire. Uh, what the order of waivers is, you can edit that right there. Lineups. You can adjust people's lineups every week um schedule if you would like to schedule uh different matchups to go in the league reset the league delete the league those things are right here now it is important to note though that these are not the only settings that you can adjust as the commissioner if you go back over to the general side there are actually more things you can adjust right here um, the my team this is just obviously your team as the commissioner you can still adjust those settings there but um general so this is where you're going to be able to adjust most of the things in your league how many teams are in your league what type of league it is the lineups the waiver orders um a ton of different settings in here that you can adjust the trade deadline injury reserve slots all in the general button playoffs you can adjust um, when the playoffs happen how many teams are in the playoffs how just everything about the playoffs is going to be right there for you the roster settings however many of each type of player in your roster you would like the division settings right here um if you would like like an afc and an nfc or something of that manner in your league you can adjust that right here in the division page um notifications if you'd like to invite people to your league if you'd like to view the draft results co-owners of the league um lots of settings that you can adjust right there again if you guys have any questions about how this works or any questions or missed things i did not cover be sure to let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to get to any of those questions for you guys but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next fantasy football tutorial